Kilala mo ba si Police Colonel Crisostomo Mendoza, PNPA Class 94? 18 years ka sa intelligence community. Yung upper class mo, hindi mo alam. Alam mo ba na unaccounted and missing si Police Colonel Mendoza? Hindi mo alam. 18 years sa intelligence community. Hindi mo alam. Yes, karamihan po. Di ba intelligence unit ang CIDG? Uh, uh, part, partly, Mr. Chiu, yung yes. detection uh, okay. part. Colonel Leonardo, ilang years ka sa PNP service? Sir, sa PNP, uh, I believe ba uh, naka 28 years, uh, Mr. Chiu? 28 years. Apo. PNPA class 96 ka ba or 97? Uh, I, uh, I was supposed to graduate 96 but uh, did not defer, Mr. Chair. I graduated 98. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Kailan ka na-assign sa CIDG? Since when? Uh, since uh, 2001, Mr. Chair. 2001. Yes. And kailan ka na-relieve sa CIDG? Uh, In between, Mr. Chair, uh, there were times that I was uh, reassigned to other uh, unit, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chair, uh, not a straight CIBG. But uh, all in all, I, uh, uh, as far as I can recall, I, uh, my service uh, as a CIBG uh, uh, more or less is uh, 18 years uh, with the CIBG, Mr. Chair. More or less, how many years? 18 years with the CIDG. 18 years? Yes, Mr. Chair. So, 18 years. So, 18 years ka sa intelligence unit, intelligence community. Kilala mo ba si Police Colonel Crisostomo Mendoza, PNPA Class 94? Ayan, hindi ko po kilala, Mr. Chair. 18 years ka sa intelligence community. Yung upper class mo, hindi mo alam? Ah, hindi ko po siya kilala, Mr. Chair. Hindi mo kilala? Okay. Alam mo ba na unaccounted and missing si Police Colonel Mendoza? Ah, hindi ko rin po alam. Hindi mo alam? Hindi po talaga. 18 years sa intelligence community. Hindi mo alam. Uh, 18 years po ako sa CIDG, yes. uh, Region 11, uh, yes. karamihan po. Di ba, intelligence uh, unit ang CIDG? Uh, uh, part, partly, Mr. Chiu, yung yes. detection uh, okay. part. So, hindi mo alam na missing si Colonel Mendoza? Uh, hindi ko po kilala kasi kung sino po yung... O sige, kung hindi mo kilala, sinasabi niyo po. may narinig ka ba na missing si Colonel Mendoza? Uh, wala rin po, Mr. Chair. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. General Torres, sir. PNPA yes, class 93 po ba kayo? Yes, sir. So, underclass po ninyo, si Colonel Mendoza? Yes, sir. Totoo po ba yung information na unaccounted and missing si Police Colonel Crisostomo Mendoza, PNPA class 94? Tama po ba? Yes, sir. General Torres, sir, sa pagkakaalam po ba ninyo, maliban kay Colonel Mendoza, may iba pang police personnel na unaccounted and missing from 2016 to present? Uh, I have to check the record, sir. Please allow me to report it to you to the, on the next uh, hearing, sir. Okay, balikan ko lang po, <coughs> Mr. Chair. Sa pagkakaalam po ninyo, ano ang uh, dahilan? Bakit missing si Colonel Mendoza? If I recall it right, sir, I think it was on the end of 2017 when he was reported missing by the family. Chris Mendoza had worked with me on Narcom in 1999, very shortly, during the time when we operated against uh, uh, Mayor Mitra of uh, Panukulan, Quezon, where we got the 500 kilos in, in the ambulance and uh, uh, another van. We worked together in that, sir, that's our, in our group. Um, it was, uh, I think, end of 2017 that he was reported missing. 
and uh, we really have no idea as of the moment on the concrete details on this incident, sir. So my information po na sinasabi, sangkot siya sa illegal drugs, tama po ba? Come again, sir. My information na sinasabing involved siya sa illegal drugs. Uh, during the time, sir, when he was went missing, I think he was already dismissed from the service because he has a previous case of a wall or another case of uh, administrative case that uh, he's, he was appealing then with, I think, the Court of Appeals or Supreme Court. I'm not uh, very, very... Um, I cannot really clearly recall the details as of the moment, sir, but I think I can pull out the records and will report to you with more clarity on the next hearing, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So, wala po kayong uh, information na mayroon pang ibang PNP personnel na unaccounted and missing? I, he I have heard some. What uh, we hear, Mr. Chair, are some police officers... Uh, killed uh, in line of duty or otherwise and uh, but for the missing I have to check on the records sir please thank you Mr. Chair naitanong thank you, po ito Mr. Chair para malaman po natin na maaring hindi lang politicians hindi lang private individuals even police personnel ay sinasabing involved at uh, pwedeng victim rin po ng EJK. Mr. Chair, may I respectfully move to direct General Torre to submit the list of un unaccounted and missing PNP personnel from 2016 to present, Mr. Chair? General Torre, you are directed to comply with the request of uh, Congressman Busita. We'll comply, sir. Thank you. Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So the next to interpolate is uh, Congressman Keith Flores. You have 10 minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I would just like to be clarified with Napolcom. Did you just mention earlier that the case against the CIDG officers were all dismissed? Uh, from what we have gathered, uh, Your Honor, from uh, the criminal cases were all uh, basically dismissed, Your Honor. The criminal cases? Yes, sir. Are, uh, have administrative cases been filed against them before the Napolcom? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, it was decided by then uh, uh, Chief PNP uh, De La Rosa that the uh, said persons uh, will be uh, demoted. Just demoted? Yes, yes, Your Honor. Uh, just demoted. Ang penalty nila in the administrative case is demotion lang? Yes, Klaro Your Honor. Yes, okay, Your Honor. from your opinion, uh, Attorney Bernardo, what were the... Um, mistakes or errors that were committed by the team that uh, enforced the search warrant. Like, uh, if I'll just go through it now, from the testimonies that I've heard. Using uh, bonnets or covering their faces, is that proper? Yes. Uh, under the circumstances, Your Honor, uh, bonnet uh, is not at all uh, uh, supposedly used for that purpose. So in enforcing a search warrant, it should not be used? Yes, precisely. Their faces should not be covered. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Sec second, yes. Attorney Bernarda, was disabling the CCTV in the jail facility also proper in accordance with the SOP of uh, the PNP in enforcing a search warrant? That is improper and uh, actually it's irregular to, re uh, to remove the, the CCTV. Okay. Because in fact, the Supreme Court required them to use a body-worn camera or alternative recording device in the execution of search warrant. Third, was it proper for them to disarm the jail guards and the augment the, the, the PNP that were sent to augment the security in the area? Uh, it is also improper. Uh, th that should not be the case, uh, Your Honor. Okay, now of all the, th itong tatlo lang. Supposedly, if this were the offenses, uh, administrative complaints filed against them, would that warrant a demotion? Just a demotion? Theoretically, Your Honor, uh, uh, the motion is not enough, Your Honor. For all these three lang? I'm not even discussing the death. Yes, Your Honor. What should be the proper penalty then? Uh, these, these are serious uh, irregularities in the performance of duty. This could amount for a dismissal. They should have been dismissed, correct? Yes, Your Honor. And why do you think was the penalty of demotion uh, in, 
uh, mated upon them by then uh, Chief PNP Bato. I, I could not uh, actually, Your Honor, uh, understand the, the rationale of uh, a mere demotion on the, on the same. Because uh, our belief is that although conspiracy is not uh, necessary to prove an administrative case, but in the case of uh, uh, Colonel Marcos, he, he may be then equated to a principal uh, considering that he was uh, at the site when the supposed search warrant was executed, he was then uh, at the door of the, uh, uh, of the uh, sub-provincial jail, and he, and he insisted to open the same. Only he, re he returned back to his basic uh, vehicle. The security, uh, of, uh, the security, the augmentation from the CIDG Region 8 and the uh, uh, Regional Maritime Unit 8 is also maybe liable uh, in their individual participation principal by indispensable cooperation. Because without the indispensable assistance or support of the CID, CD, uh, CIDG-8 and uh, a regional mobile unit, they could not overtake and overpower the sub-provincial jail. Meaning, therefore, these are in, they are liable for principal by indispensable cooperation. Now, by direct participation, those who executed all of those uh, offenses, including uh, uh, the uh, consequence uh, for the demise of the two uh, individual may, may be uh, rendered principal by direct participation, Your Honor. Not, notwithstanding that uh, 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 conspiracy may not be applicable in administrative cases, but their individual participation could very well establish from the records of the case, Your Honor. Plus, this, was, this, this can be bolstered by the investigation done by the NBI on the same. So from an administrative point of view, Attorney Bernardo, there are no more cases that could be filed against the police officers who enforce the search warrant. Uh, Your Honor, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the respondent in fact appealed to the National Appellate Board. And uh, in one occasion, well, we discussed the, the, the merit of the case. Uh, it was at that opportunity, with uh, due respect, uh, I, I met the commissioner at that time. Uh, commissioner Leonardo at that time opted to acquit all of the respondents. But uh, 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 I hasten to add that if that's the most thing that they could have done during their time, how then could it be possible at this time now that they could be acquitted for all of these uh, uh, offenses. And therefore, we, we, uh, uh, we, we met again, and the other two commissioners are now inclined to reconsider. Uh, and they would render a different uh, uh, resolution or determination of the appeal cases. It's forthcoming. We are seeking also additional substantiation from the NBI to see whether uh, we could rely from the SOCO report or from the medical legal from the forensic pathologies, what may have been the cause of that? Is it actually an exchange of gunfire, or was he killed uh, within the, uh, the cell in cell number one and in cell number two for Raul Yap, for that matter? Thank you, Attorney Bernardo. Uh, Colonel uh, Leonardo, sir, Commissioner Leonardo, I'll ask you again the same, the three things that I thought were improper in the conduct of the search on the enforcement of the search warrant. Like one, having face coverings or a bonnet. Is that proper, sir? Uh, While enforcing uh, a search warrant? Uh, during my, uh, uh, when I conduct uh, implementation of search warrant, I, I never- Can you answer proper, in closer to the mic, sir, so we can hear you? Uh, I never, uh, uh, I never do that uh, during my conduct of- uh, I'm asking you, sir, from the standard procedures of police officers, sir. Is it proper for police officers to use face coverings in enforcing a search warrant? Yes or no? I think, uh, uh, no, Mr. Chair, for me, no. So it's not proper. Two, is it proper for police officers to disable the CCTV system in enforcing a search warrant? Yes or no? Uh, no, Mr. Chair. Three, what was the third one I asked, Kanina? Was disarming the jail guards and the police officers who augmented the security in the area 
proper in enforcing the search warrant that was issued by the judge? Uh, it depends on the situation, Mr. Judge. If they, uh, 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 if they pose a threat uh, to the uh, implementing... Uh, then they could be disarmed. Yes. yes okay, so it, depending on the situation. But on the first two, you said that it was improper. Uh, for me, it, it was yes, improper, for you. Mr. Chair. Now, if these two were improper, out of the three that I mentioned, why did you move for the acquittal of these police officers? Uh, did you not find it improper? Uh, you just mentioned that it was improper. Did you not find it that they should be held administratively liable for violating the procedures in enforcing a search warrant? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, just to correct the uh, manifestation of uh, uh, Vice Chair Bernardo, uh, I never uh, intended to acquit uh, everybody. Actually, uh, uh, the motion for uh, Laraga and... Uh, Duarte and uh, others are met at uh, five months, uh, six months, something like that. Uh, six months of uh, what, no, sir? No, no, no. Six months, ma'am, Mr. Chair. Of and what? Some, uh, there are some who were uh, acquitted, uh, uh, recommended acquitted, but that was just a recommendation, Mr. Chair. Just a recommendation. But you think that they should be administratively, at least administratively held liable? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. And this is after how many years from the time of the incident that took place? How many years? I think uh, that was uh, uh, eight years. Eight years already, Mr. Chair. Eight from years. From 2016 to up to present, Mr. Chair. So six years, actually. Six years. Yeah? 2018. 20 yeah, anyway, so it's that number of years and these police officers are still actively in the service because the administrative case has not yet been resolved up to now. Is that correct, Colonel Leonardo? I think uh, some of them are no longer in the service, uh, Mr. Chair. Was it as a result of this administrative case or for some other reasons? I'm not sure, Mr. Chair, some, uh, because of this uh, case, Mr. Chair. But I thought that case was still pending before the Napolcom. The Attorney appeal, Bernardo. Um, yes, Your Honor. Uh, it, it is still pending in the uh, National Appellate Board. Uh, I could not make a decision uh, alone because uh, these are collegial. Uh, we are four of us, and uh, at that time, uh, we are not uh, in the same uh, opinion with uh, uh, Commissioner Leonardo while the two others are still trying to decide whether they would side with me or side with uh, uh, Commissioner Leonardo. And uh, it might strike a, a good uh, decision when, I, I, when I, I'm seeking the uh, records of the NBI to substantiate the fact that the cause of death was not at all uh, uh, through uh, to, to, uh, exchange of fire, but rather uh, if I would follow the medical legal, it might have been a murder case or, at the very least, a, a homicide. Uh, and they are not supposed to be simply demoted, Your Honor. Should the administrative case be faster, uh, Attorney Bernardo? Yes, it, it should have been, but uh, in as much as the decision, I was then alone because the other commissioners are still trying to uh, evaluate the, uh, the, the case. I was just alone in, uh, in, in, in pushing for an early resolution. The point that I'm raising, uh, Attorney Bernardo, is the fact that if these people are still in the active service of the PNP, then they could still be performing acts which are illegal or improper and not in accordance with PNP policies. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. I do. That's why there's a need to hasten the proceedings, siguro, sir. Diba? Yes. Pinakiusapan ko nga, Your Honor, yung dalawa pang commissioner, na they are now siding with me at this time, uh, considering the fact that uh, time has lapsed uh, uh, and uh, justice delayed is justice denied uh, for, for the victims. And uh, I am asking the NBI for an additional evidence to bolster my, my, my recommendation that there's supposed to be a rendition of judgment and to reverse the, simply a, a, a demotion. It should have been more severe penalties to be imposed. Are they now siding with you only after Colonel Leonardo resigned as commissioner from the Mapolcom? I, uh, I would ask them, Your Honor, but... Uh, uh, what, but was the decision to change their minds recent? 
It's quite recent, Your Honor. Quite recent. Quite recent, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair.